anchoring your soul in the eternal hope of Christ Jesus. Anchoring your soul in the eternal hope of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, normally, uh, we use that word called hope. And that hope in our general conversations are used very flippantly and very casually. And uh, we speak things like, you know, uh, more in the, in the nature of wishing. We say, I hope this thing would happen. That means there is no real assurance deep down, but you're just wishing that it may happen like that. That's the vocabulary of our present times. And we speak that word hope, uh, not so much in an assured, positive manner, but in a wishful manner, a wishful thinking, which we really are not believing that it will take place. So, it's a wish which does not seem to be happening. That's, that's what generally we, we, we come to. Something which we really do not expect to be fulfilled or manifested in reality. That's the nature of the word hope that is used in the secular world. But when we look at the Bible, how does the Bible use the word hope? Biblical hope is very contrary to the way we use the word hope. It is... Uh, you know, I would put it this way. Biblical hope is bringing something, you know, showcasing something good for us in the future. And it also births expectation for it to happen. It is not a mere wish. It is a deep assurance of things which cannot be seen, but it is a sure hope that it will come to pass. That is biblical hope. The biblical hope is that yes, what I hope for will come to pass. It is a deep assurance in our hearts. Let's look at Romans 8 and verse 24. It says, For we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he still sees. So this verse begins by saying, for we were saved in this hope. In another place it says, we are saved by faith. Hallelujah. We are saved. Hallelujah. By grace through faith. Hallelujah. So, but it also, this says, we are saved in this hope. So hope, in a way, is getting tied up with the grace of God and with the hope of God. Hallelujah. With the faith of God, sorry. Hope is getting connected with the faith of God. It is a hope for what is unseen. So today, many people are facing hopelessness. Situations which are, uh, uh, they don't have answers. People are committing suicides. Young, young children are committing suicides. People well-to-do are coming, committing suicides. There is hopelessness all around. You know, David, you know, it, in one, uh, open this, 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 15. It says, David is saying, for we are aliens and pilgrims before you. As we, as where all our fathers, our days on earth are as a shadow and without hope. David, this man of God, is saying, we are people, aliens and pilgrims before you. And our days are like a shadow on this earth. And we are without hope. And David is expressing that and saying that anyone who is not founded on the hope of Christ Jesus, on the hope of the Lord, is really without any hope. Even though the world talks about hope, but that hope is just mere wishful thinking. The biblical hope is the strong assurance that yes, my God will see me through the troubles. My God will see me through the waters. 
and through the fire he will keep me hallelujah shadrach meshach and abednego went through the fires and knew that the god whom they serve who is able to preserve them through the fire hallelujah daniel was assured in his heart that the god whom he serves is able to keep him from the lions den hallelujah the mouth of the lions was stopped because of faith that daniel carried hallelujah the hope that you have is connected to the faith in god what is it that you're hoping for do not have a worldly wishful hope which will disappoint you which will bring you into a place of despondency that hope cannot deliver jesus said i give you peace not like the world gives give i unto you the peace that jesus gives is jesus himself he is the prince of peace he is the one who is your joy giver he is the one who gives you hope in the midst of hopelessness and today i want to tell you let your hope be anchored in that unshakable rock of christ jesus hallelujah hallelujah because the lord is your refuge and your fortress in the time of distress in the time of tribulation in the time when you are troubled when you have founded yourself on the rock of salvation paul talks about it in the book of ephesians chapter 6 it talks about let guard your mind put on the helmet of salvation the hope of salvation guard your mind with that hope that Christ Jesus is the one who is coming to save you and to restore you hallelujah he has a good plan for each one of us we know this by memory we know this jeremiah 29 verse 11 it says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope hallelujah that hope is the hope in god the psalmist says hope in the lord trust in him hallelujah our hope is not founded upon the money or the bank balance or the lack thereof our hope is in the lord he is unshakable every situation we have seen in these days people in the secular world all around they who have held dear their positions their high positions in their jobs in their businesses in their financial status now everything seems to be shaking and they have now been faced with the situation that not everything is permanent on this earth all things can be shaken all things that can be shaken will be shaken says the word of the lord only there is one thing that cannot be shaken and that is the rock of our salvation jesus christ he is the same yesterday today and forever he is your hope and my hope hallelujah we put our trust in him hallelujah in uh, proverbs chapter 24 verse 16 says for a righteous man may fall seven times and he rises again it says but the wicked shall fall by calamity the righteous man falls seven times but he bounces back but he rises back you know why because his hope is in the lord his hope is anchored beyond the veil hallelujah his hope is anchored beyond the veil hallelujah 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 may your hope be anchored beyond the veil hallelujah 
Open to Hebrews chapter 6 verse 19. Open your Bibles. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 19. It says, This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enters the presence behind the veil. That hope which we cannot see. Hallelujah. We put our trust in the one who we have never seen. We, you and me, have never seen Jesus with our eyes. But yet we believe. Blessed are they that believe without seeing. Hallelujah. And Jesus is saying we are blessed. This hope we have as an anchor of our soul. Both sure and steadfast. This hope that we have is a sure hope and a steadfast hope. It cannot be shaken. Which enters the presence right into the throne room of God. Beyond the veil of this life. Into eternity. Behind the veil. Hallelujah. Our anchor holds in the storm. Hallelujah. That song is so beautiful. Our anchor holds in the storm. Hallelujah. The righteous. I just want to give you a picture. The righteous falls seven times. Some years back, my son was little, maybe one or two. And uh, he was probably uh, about two years old. And I bought him a... You know, that um, punching bag, okay, inflatable punching bag. It was like a, uh, like a tiger uh, with a tiger face. And a, it was an inflatable, uh, you know, bobbing head uh, uh, punching bag. And I remember inflating it and, and putting it there. And Isaac having a good time punching it. And he, he was liking it because you punch it and it goes back and it comes back. Right back at you. The righteous are the same. You and I are anchored. At the bottom, there is a rock, a sure foundation inside of us. No matter what circumstances beat you left and right. Hallelujah. You go ahead, get beaten a little bit. But there is an anchor which holds beyond the whale. That anchor which is stabilized on the rock of our salvation. That rock which holds you. Hallelujah. Which will never let you go. Because you are not dependent on holding him. But he holds you. Hallelujah. When he holds you. No one can snatch you out of his hands. His name is Jesus. The champion of champions. The Lord of lords. Who has defeated sin and death. Hallelujah. He has gone down into the grave. Hallelujah. He has gone down into Hades. And punched the lights out of the devil. He has made a public spectacle of the devil. Hallelujah. Taken out every armory of the devil. And made him a, a public spectacle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has beaten the lights out of him. Hallelujah. And he has triumphed over sin and death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. I have been risen in Christ Jesus. I am no longer to be set below. No matter what the media tells me. No matter what people come against me. My anchor holds beyond the veil. That sure foundation that holds me. No matter who punches me through the day. No matter who abuses me. No matter what comes your way this morning. No matter who has spoken ill of you. It's time to bounce back. For you are stabilized on the rock of all eternity. Hallelujah. You will bounce back. Because that Thread is connected beyond the veil. Your hope is anchored beyond the veil. Your life is anchored in him. So no matter how much the devil punches you with circumstances, with a lack of finance, with a lack of job, with a lack of salary, with, with, with circumstance in your job, in your businesses, with, with things collapsing around you, with people falling sick around you, God is able to restore you, strengthen you. 
Hallelujah. He is the God who is able to bring you back with a bounce. Hallelujah. The righteous fall seven times, but he rises back. She rises back. Hallelujah. Because he and she is founded on the rock of eternity. Hallelujah. That anchor holds beyond the veil. And that anchor holds me. When I go down, hallelujah, I come back because that elastic, hallelujah, of that anchor pulls me back. Hallelujah. That hope which is sure. I do not hold my anchor into things which are seen. But into the things which are unseen. Hallelujah. For the spiritual governs the natural. Hallelujah. Not vice versa. What we, what we do not see is more powerful than what we see. And today the circumstances that you see. The Egyptians that you see. That the demons that are surrounding you. Will be no more in the name of Jesus. Because your anchor if it is founded on the rock of Christ Jesus, he is the champion of champions. He has never lost a battle. Hallelujah. He has never been defeated. Hallelujah. He is the glory of heaven. Hallelujah. He is the rose of Sharon. Hallelujah. He is the bright and morning star. He is seated on the throne of your circumstances. He holds you with its arms. Hallelujah. Underneath you are his everlasting arms. Hallelujah. He will hold you in the midst of your trying circumstances. Hallelujah. His hope is an everlasting hope, an eternal hope, which sees you through. Hallelujah. Look at this. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 11. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse number 11. It says, and we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Paul, or the writer to Hebrews, is saying that we desire that each one of you. So my prayer to you, each one of you here on this call, and you're watching by YouTube or anytime, to each one of you, this is the prayer. That the same diligence, that each of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. That you are diligent to assure, bring assurance into your heart according to the word of God. Hallelujah. That you will triumph because Jesus has called you triumphant. Hallelujah. Not because of your own ability, but because Jesus Christ has gone ahead with you, the first fruits of all creation. He has gone triumphantly before you. So as he has gone, he has tied his trail. Hallelujah. Behind him. And we all with unveiled faces will look to him in glory. Hallelujah. We look towards him and are fully assured that he will take us home. He will take us through the fiery furnace and through the rivers that try to overwhelm us, through the storms that, that try to shake us, whether it is in the form of relationship which are going haywire, whether it is husband and wife at loggerheads with each other. There is an enemy that is trying to shake you. But the word of the Lord today is you are triumphant as you look to the Lord in prayer, as you look towards him in hope and trust in him. You are able to win this battle. Hallelujah. He will cause you to triumph. He will cause you to bounce back. No matter how many times you have been put down. Today the word of the Lord to you is you will again bounce back in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you have that seed. That seed which is that unconquerable seed. That undefeated seed on the inside of you. Because that seed is on the inside of you. You cannot be conquered. You cannot be uh, become a failure. Because that unfailing seed of the word of God is on the inside of you. No matter how many times you have failed. But Jesus calls you a winner. And in the end you triumph. 
at the book in the book if you turn to the end you will see that you are a winner hallelujah your anchor holds within the veil hallelujah hallelujah look at what this hope does for each one of us what does this hope do i want to give you quickly four points god himself number 1 god himself is the hope of mankind there is no hope anywhere else he alone is the hope of mankind romans chapter 15 verse 13 it says now may the god of hope fill you with all joy now may the god of hope he is the god of hope hallelujah he is the he is the hope of mankind hallelujah he will fill you with joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the holy spirit even when uh, paul is writing to the roman uh, church the, the there is persecution going on people are being sought to death people are thrown into the lions den okay people are are being cut to pieces crucified and tortured for their faith in jesus but paul says now may the god of hope fill you with joy as long as you are on this earth you walk with your head held high because you are triumphant in jesus name the joy of the lord bubbles up within your spirit because he is the god of hope and he is on the inside of you he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world no persecution or nakedness can come against you and steal your joy steal your peace hallelujah can take you away from the love of christ jesus now may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the holy spirit the psalmist says in psalm 71 verse 5 it says for you are my hope o lord my god hallelujah you are my hope it is jesus our hope there is no one else my dear brothers and sisters there is nothing else to hope for but jesus hallelujah and if he the father has given us his son how much more he will give us all things what when we look to him in prayer he will give us all things what we require he will give because our hope is in him he is our hope he is our joy giver he is our peace hallelujah number 2 there is no lasting hope for those who are away from god ephesians chapter 2 verse 11 it says therefore remember that you once gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision made in the flesh by hands that at that time you were without christ being aliens from the commonwealth of israel and strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope when you were away from christ you had no hope you were without god in the world but now in christ jesus you who were without hope you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of jesus christ hallelujah for he himself is our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of separation hallelujah he has torn the veil so that we can come and commune with him hallelujah so that we can anchor our hope in him hallelujah there was a time when you were aliens to the covenants of christ jesus to the promises in the word of god but today you are in christ rejoice in that for the promises of god are yours as you trust in him all the promises of god are yes in christ jesus and you can say that amen in him hallelujah and receive everything 
that you need for your circumstance and situation. Hallelujah. But there is no lasting hope or peace for those who are away from God. Number three, true hope springs from a personal relationship with God. True hope springs from a personal relationship with God. Romans chapter 5 verse 5, it says, Now hope does not disappoint. Hope does not disappoint. The hope that you have in Christ Jesus does not disappoint you. For the hope of salvation does not give you salvation after you die. But the hope of salvation comes to you when you put your trust in him, when you hoped in him, when you put your faith in him. That is the moment when Christ comes and saves you and gives you that experience of salvation. Hallelujah. It doesn't disappoint you. The hope in Christ Jesus does not disappoint you, brothers and sisters. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. What a privilege. What a privilege. The Holy Spirit has been given to us as a down payment to us. And that Holy Spirit pours the love of the Father into our hearts. And that salvation comes into our being. And we relish it. We cherish it. And we experience that salvation. So we are able to witness to others saying we are saved. Come, you also experience that salvation in Christ Jesus, which is the hope of God. Hallelujah. And that hope does not disappoint. And as you share that word with someone who is lost and without hope, they, when they put their trust in him, their hopelessness is broken because the Prince of Peace comes on the scene. Hallelujah. The champion of hope. Hallelujah comes on the inside of them. Hallelujah and drives every cloud of hopelessness away. Today, if you are under a cloud of depression, under a cloud of hopelessness, start to praise the name of Jesus. For there is a blanket, there is a, 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 a cloak of righteousness, a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. That cloak, that mantle will come upon you as you start to praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That depression will be driven off you because hope does not disappoint. It starts to deliver from the moment you put your trust in him. The devil has to flee in Jesus name. Submit to God says the word of God. Submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. Hallelujah. That hope does not disappoint. For when we were still without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Christ did not look at your righteousness and made you better. But even when you were hopeless, he came to give you hope. He died when you were a sinner. When you were lost in your sin, he came and died on your behalf. Hallelujah. For scarcely a righteous man will, will die for someone. Yet perhaps for a good man, someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love towards us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for you and me. Hallelujah. Christ died for you and me. And today if you're hearing my voice, you are... Uh, you are on Facebook or on, or on YouTube. You are hearing my voice. And you are down in depression and hopelessness. Right where you are. Cry out to Jesus. He is the champion of hope. He is the prince of peace. He can deliver you from the clutches of hopelessness. Hallelujah. Call upon the name of the Lord and he will deliver you. He will save you with his righteous right hand. Hallelujah. Trust in him. His name is above every other name. No matter what hopelessness you face today. His name is above that name. 
whether you are facing COVID-19, trust in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name which is above COVID-19, that name which is named, all things that are named are named, but there is a name which is above all that are named. Hallelujah. And his name is above. Hallelujah. Every circumstance. And he will come and save you. And he will come and demonstrate his love for you and set you free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Number four, God's desire is that mankind will live in an expectant hope. In an ever expectant place of hope. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. We just read that a little while back. It says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not of evil. God is thinking thoughts of peace towards you. Rest in that assurance. God is thinking peace. Peace in your marriage. Peace in your business. Peace in your job situation. Peace in your finances. Peace in your body. To give you a future and a hope. Hallelujah. God is so desirous of filling your life with that anchor of hope. He desires that you be anchored beyond the veil of your circumstances. Your circumstance kind of puts a veil before you and tells you how bad it is. There have been heroes of faith who hoped beyond the hope. Abraham, it says, he hoped beyond the hope. He didn't look at his own body, which was old, but he hoped beyond the hope. The natural hope. There is a heavenly hope, which is a hope in Christ. That hope, he hoped. And beyond the hope of human hope, he hoped beyond that hope. And it was accounted to him as righteousness. Hallelujah. And he inherited the promises of God. He became a father of Isaac. And then he became a father to many nations. Hallelujah. He became a blessing because he trusted not in himself, but he trusted in the word of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. What are you hoping yourself today? Where is the anchor of your hope? Is it in your circumstance? Is it in the money that somehow that money will try you through? The word of God says, everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Do not trust in the fleeting things of man because it will be shaken at some point in time. But the Lord whom you trust in cannot be shaken. Because he cannot be shaken, you will never be shaken. Hallelujah. If you are founded upon him, your life will never be shaken. Hallelujah. You will be that like that righteous man. Even though you're punched, you will bounce back again. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus, you will be triumphant. And I want to tell you again that the Lord wants to restore everything that has been lost in your life. He wants to wipe away those tears that you have cried in those night seasons. He wants to fill your heart with hope. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you one thing. I have been through days and years where I've seen tremendous circumstances which could have shaken me. But I chose to anchor my hope beyond the veil of my circumstances. And the Lord has seen me through. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you this good news. That as you trust in the name of the Lord. He will sail you through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just as he took Noah out of the flood waters. He will take you through. Hallelujah. And he will shut the door behind you. And once the situation passes. He will open up the doors for you. And bring you into a new place. He is the shepherd of your soul. He 
He leads you beside still waters and He restores your soul. Hallelujah. Come to Him. Let the your situation be watered by His presence. May your heart be drenched by the power of the Holy Spirit. May your hope be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit today. May you be refreshed in Him and may you rejoice in Jesus Christ who is the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Today, Jesus is the hope of glory. Hallelujah. That hope which is on the inside of you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. He is the anchor which holds you beyond the veil. Beyond the veil of your circumstances. He is the one who holds you. He will restore you. He will keep you as the apple of his high. No harm will come near you. No plague will come near your dwelling. Trust in him. He loves you with an everlasting love. May the peace of God rest upon you. May you turn towards him and be ever joyful. May there be times of joy and jubilation in your family as you trust in him. In Jesus' name.